Check out, I mean, if you listen to our show on the regular, um, you can check out the archive after we're done. But uh, we got some brethren over there on Detroit Unplugged Radio right now because of you. I want to shout out you. Uh, We got the homies Exit Only and the man you just heard in the intro, Caliber 007, over there in Detroit Unplugged. Also because of you, we're going to be on the show January 4th. Uh, They were recently on the Murder Master Music Show. We're going to go over there, kind of cross-promote. So, um... Shout out to Detroit Unplugged Radio. Shout out to First Fame Radio. Also, I want to congratulate them. They done linked up with uh, DJ King Assassin. Uh, I think it's 92.8 to beat over there in L.A. Um, shout out to them. They've been showing us love for uh, years. So, uh, yeah, you, you got you to gotta network with people, man. There's a lot of real people out there doing podcasts like what we're doing. Um and every every one of them is unique and different. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what you're gonna get when you hear their intros. When that fucking Rocky music comes on this show, you know what the fuck you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it, it's the same. We want to show love and also uh, we want to be recognized at the same time. We appreciate those that recognize us. So shout out to shout out to everybody that shows love to us. But tonight we got a hell of a show, man. We got you know what I'm saying the Super Smash Brothers. I have a place called Kokomo, Indiana, which uh, we're going to let them you know, tell you all about. Uh, then we got the homie Kendrick as Dead Walkers, you know what I'm saying, out of Utah. So we're going from Indiana to Utah. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're keeping it Midwest. I think Utah's considered Midwest. I don't know if it's too far west or not. We'll find out what Kendrick thinks of you know, where Utah should be placed on the map. But, man, let's bring on, you know what I'm saying, Racer X and Mr. DKB right now. Without further ado, have them tell... Tell the world, you know, say who they are. What's up, Super Smash Brothers? What's up, what's up? What up? Yo, what's up? What up, Prez? What's up, what Prez up, and Brandon? Brandon? On the show. Um, we appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thanks, man. Hey, hey glad to have you. Definitely. When I, when I saw the name, I'm thinking, right away, I'm thinking, oh, shit. That's that super fucking, uh, that's that Nintendo, man. That's that G shit right there, <laughs> man. I mean, who doesn't yeah. love fucking Nintendo? And they just recently brought back the little unit. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But how, what made you guys decide to come up with Super Smash Brothers? Oh, uh, just we've always been down to that kind of culture, man. The video games, the comic books, the music. You know, we're nerds of life. Oh, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A much better era. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, for sure. When there was cheat codes and Game Genies and Nintendo and Sega, that was the shit. Uh, Fucking yeah. Moss Man will tell you the same shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you about the trees. But, uh, oh, man, that's some real shit, though. You guys are all about the hip-hop, man. What? When did you guys first get into music, you know what I'm saying? What gave 
gave you guys the motivation to want to do this yourselves? Uh, when I first met DKB, he was always doing music anyways, but like we met in high school or whatever and became best friends through that, but he was always rapping, and then we tried it with a couple of different people, and they weren't really down with it, so we decided to team up. We originally started out as like the Lyric Hillers, and then we changed our name to the Super Smash Brothers maybe like a year or two later, but we started out in maybe 2000 or so. Yeah, wow. So you've been doing this, you've been doing this for a minute. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, we've been I doing it for fun it. for a long time, and then, but yeah, we've we've been doing it. We appreciate the music itself, you know. Yeah, yeah. You guys are not only just you know artists yourselves, you know what I'm saying, but you're also fans of the art, and that's uh, right. you know, that, that's important, man. Because nowadays artists don't respect the art. You know, saying you ask some of these goofballs, uh, they ask one of them, the, I think it's the Adi, they ask him to rap over a DJ Premier beat, he refused to. It's like, why? Are, are, are you crazy? You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, like, hey, all <laughs> you guys would be like, wow, I'd love to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to, to rap to a beat from him or, or somebody else of that nature. Where do you think, you know what I'm saying, the line is drawn between, you know what I'm saying, the, the generation that we grew up in when you paid homage to those before you to the younger generation you know what I'm saying, it doesn't give a fuck about what happened before them. All they care about is what's happening now. You know what I'm saying? Where does that line actually, you know what I'm saying, divide us, and how can we bridge the gap and teach these kids the right way, so to speak? Uh, That's a good question, man. I don't know. Uh, it's, the, it's the radio's fault. You know, it's the radio wasn't playing it yeah. and pumping it out. Pay the mainstream radio. I mean, the underground's always been alive. It, it, it's never went anywhere. Exactly. But that mainstream... It's just what they pump out. It's what they want. It's poppy. It's all pop music. Yeah, I agree. I I think one of the problems is is the people that have, you know, like people that put on these radio shows and all that. Like, there's a lot of people in control that don't care about hip hop. Like, they care about money. You know what I mean? And like, oh, yeah. The, there's yeah. nobody. Like, you know, like I mean, even like Revolt TV, that's owned by Puff Daddy. So Puff Daddy yeah. just puts on shit that he likes or people that pay him money. So he's not breaking no new artists. You know what I mean? There's no... Thanks, there's Jay no line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Puff up, yeah. Exactly. What up, Max? I'm glad you brought that up. Man. Wow. How is he contributing, you know what I'm saying, to right. uh, the preservation of music when under his tutelage, so to speak, um, it's, it's completely fell to shit. These guys at the top that have all that money, like Puffy, Ice Cube, Dre, all these dudes, you know what I'm saying, they can ha they have the power and the money and the influence to do something about it. My question to them is, why the fuck are they just letting it fall to shit? I just, I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, it's strange. They have the loudest voice. They should have the biggest, make the biggest noise yeah. about it, honestly. And you, you see yeah. the lack of, like, the presence of New York is nowhere. In the mainstream right now, you know, what I mean? young no rap in York. <laughs> right. I think, I think, I think, oh, it, yeah, I think yeah. it kind of happened when they start letting these dudes make money in different avenues to where rap ain't even and hip hop really ain't even a forefront. Like Puffy That's make more money off liquor and all that other shit. Cube doing the movies and shit. Like they let the motherfuckers that did get the power, they put their money in different spots, so they don't even really give a fuck about the music unless it's something that they drop in. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't into breaking new artists out or bringing out like yeah, Dre made an album for uh, for the Compton movie, but people been wanting him to make an album for years. You know what I'm saying? Like he can't say yeah. the demand ain't there. It's just that they, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't want to shine a light to to uh, like like you said, the underground always been here. It just ain't went yeah. nowhere. Me and Fred been hearing good music for the last four five years, all through yeah. the underground. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's for guys like you. You know what I'm saying? What? Because yeah. guys like yourselves that, that actually, you know what I'm saying, contribute to it. Not only, like I said before, not only do you guys make music yourself, but you support it. You support the other artists, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You work with various mm -hmm. artists, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. How important is you to maintain connections <laughs> in the underground with different people? Oh, it's extremely important. I mean, we're going to have, like, Voltron, you know, you got to 
work with people and help them out. You know, I don't have no problem sharing pay- pages and stuff. A lot of people, for some reason, they act like that's a big deal. It's like, I don't mind. If you're trying to like, better yourself as a person. Yeah, you can't do it all yourself, especially when you're small. You know, you're small time like we are. Everybody needs everybody's help. Yeah, yeah you can't yeah, that, that's how I'm to help people. Yeah, that, 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 that's yeah. how me, me, and you, you connected. You know what I mean? Like uh, us just showing love to like similar people. You know what I mean? And that, right. that's how we cross paths. And you know, yeah. that's how Mac J and I connected. And, and you know, uh, like-minded people seem to, to to connect, and especially at a time like now when things are fucked up. But um. I'm going to go off into one of your tracks, guys, and then we're going to come back. We're going to talk about where you're from and everything, get to know you guys a little bit more. Um, Sounds good. Let's give, them, let's give them the Midwest Massacre with uh, Project Born. Why don't you tell everybody about this? Uh, it's produced by DJ Moog. We got our boys, Mitty, and Polk Frost from Project Born on there. It's a banger. Yeah, definitely 423 for life, man. So, yeah, Thanks here it is. over that Midwest. Super Smash Brothers Midwest, you know what I'm saying, Super Smash Project Born. We got the Super Smash Brothers, you know what I'm saying, back in the building yeah, right yeah. now. Um, what up? We also got we also got a caller. I'm gonna, I'm going to let the caller tell tell everybody who uh, who he is. Caller, how you doing? Oh man, what's that? And this this Pope man, Project Born representing, calling in the holler at the home. What up? Let Michigan in the building. Oh, honey. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. Oh. It's good. It's good, fellas. All Midwest except Pat, Pittsburgh, Patrick over there. Um, <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Pittsburgh, both the East Coast. Oh, yeah. But uh, but I mean right. that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about, man. I'll ask you this: Why I got you on the line, Polk? Man, what's it like working with the Super Smash Brothers? Oh man, that's some good dudes, man. Uh, you know when we uh first you know connected, and ever since then, man, you know like. They work at they work at tickets, you know what I'm saying? One hundred. They they talented, you know what I'm saying? You know, so they one hundred with it, like keep you know, all the way real and everything. So I rock with them, man, you know. That's what's yeah, man, you guys yeah, got yeah. a banger Appreciate out right it. now. <laughs> Appreciate it, big homie. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah you, you guys got, got a banger out, man. You guys make good music together too. We appreciate it. Thank you. Each other. Yeah, man. Make a good yeah, taste. Yeah. Man. Right. Now you guys, you guys are coming from Kokomo, Indiana. Um, I don't know where that's at exactly. I the closest, you know, the halfway big town in Indiana to me is Evansville. You guys know where that's at? Down there at the yep. bottom. Yeah, we're about like an hour north from Naptown. No. Oh, okay. From okay. Okay. Yeah, straight right, north. I kind of know where we are. All right, so so what's it, what's the rap scene like over there? I mean, is there a lot of guys doing it? Or are you guys pretty much the only game in town, or what's it like? Uh, everybody raps here. <laughs> everybody thinks they're rappers here. Right. It's one of those towns, you know what I mean? Does that aggravate it's hard to separate you, being, you guys got long history in the game. You've been doing this since 2000. You know, um, does that kind of aggravate you? That just people uh, popping up out of the word that don't even give a fuck about it. I mean, to a certain extent, yeah, but I you're got still my own doing your own thing. Right. Yeah, yeah we keep we kind of keep to ourselves. We just we fuck with a few people, but I mean, for yeah, the most part, I, I we try to show love to everybody because you know the city's the city. But you know, we got our own thing. I ain't worried. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anybody there you from Indiana that they, they, like influenced you guys? Oh, definitely. Uh, Rick Jilla, yeah, Grind, Grind Family. family. Yeah, I was about the to ask kids. Brother. Chucky Work Clothes, he's doing big things now. K Marco oh, coming up. Freddie right? Gibbs. What's up? That's what's up. Yeah, so, so you are you guys with 423? We on the team. Project, that's Project Born label, right? Yep. yep. That's what's up. Yeah, we you are. Can I speak yeah, on that right there, man? Yeah. Yeah, I know me and my guy had a conversation the other day. I hit him up, man. You know, it's, it's more it's more like this, man. You know, 
I rock with, you know what I'm saying, people that got good work ethics, man, that, you know what I'm saying, serious about their music and everything. It ain't just a hobby for them, you know, it's, 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 they, it's their life, man, you know. You know, and uh, I reached out to him. I was like, man, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's get together, man, and, you know, do this all under one umbrella, man, you know. We ain't got no ties to nobody and nothing like that. Well, nobody, you know, saying nothing, but we just, you know, want to rock together and bang it out, man, and help each other out, you know. So that's what it's all about, man. It ain't about we ain't, ain't no contract signed or we hold nobody, you know what I'm saying, to nothing. They can't do this, do that. It's just one umbrella. We all going to, you know what I'm saying, shine together and, you know, help each other out. That's what it is. Out of honor and respect. I mean, that's what that's what it should be about, man. Real talk. Right. You know, mm-hmm. And it, it's good. It's good to be able to have that, you know, because you know the people that got your back really got your back. When you got a big, huge circle full of motherfuckers, you know, it, it's hard to gauge, you know what I'm saying, how many of these dudes are fugazis, you know what I'm saying, because you got a lot of pretenders, and uh, you got you to gotta know who to fuck with. But when you fuck with somebody, you know what I'm saying, on, on a level of respect that's earned, right. you know what I'm saying, that, that's a much bigger bond, and you can go further with that. I try to tell people that, man. They don't want to listen. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You're right. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you know, you guys... Uh, you know what I'm saying? What's the latest uh, project that you guys got out or you, you got coming out? We got the Stoplight City CD coming out uh, probably early 2017. But that's what we're working on now. I mean, we put out like 25 mixtapes, I think seven this year. <clears throat> yeah, we just keep working, but this album is the main thing. Uh, you got Project Born and Mastermind on that album too, right? We got Project Born, Mastermind, Schizo, Suicide Packs on there. Our homie Dirty White Mike's gonna be on there. We got Mix wow. and Mastered by our homie Jack Boy D Payne. Yes. So hit that dude up. Yeah, shout out D Payne. Yes, man. LDP man, shout out. Man, you guys got a wide variety of people on there from different areas, man. That's dope too. Is, is that important for you guys to be working with cats? Like, not just stateside, but like, do you work with anybody globally too? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. We get to work with our people. We've respected their music for a long time. So that's kind of why we did it, you know, mastermind yeah. project born with big fans of theirs for like a decade or so, you know, or plus, you know, we've always jammed their shit. So it was, it was an honor to get to work with them. Shout out to Mastermind. It's birthday today, I've seen, so happy birthday, Mastermind. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. We got, we got to play one for the wicked. We got to play one of the <laughs> right. tracks later. Shout out to Mastermind. Mr. Hellraiser. Um, yeah, he, he's another one that's been doing it for uh, a long time. And, um, you know what I'm saying, he's still, he's got the longevity. When you're able to do this shit for decades, you know, you got you to gotta take your hat off to anybody that's able to do that. So, you know, respect to him and respect to you too, Paul. Because uh, I know you I guys did, did a lot of work as well. Um, well, let's give them let's give them uh, another track, man. Um, I'm thinking about uh, let's give them. You want to give them Spotlight City? Kind of promote the, the the project. Sounds good to me. All right, all right, cool, cool. This, this, this is the title track off the upcoming album. Um, when are you guys dropping this? You said early 2017? Yeah, end of January, beginning of February is the plan, so definitely by then. Mm-hmm. Good being right there, kind of in the center. Right. I mean, you're not far from Chicago. You can come down to St. Louis. You can go out to the East Coast. So yep. that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty uh, uh, it, Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. What about, uh, I know you guys are um, you know, fans of the East Shop. You know what I'm saying? When, when did you first discover his music? Uh, probably 96, 95. Yeah, Dead around Flowers there. era, yeah. Yeah, yeah around Dead Flowers, Close Casket, somewhere around there. Mabel Delman, that was my great shit. Great time to come in because you're getting mm. some of the most evil shit right there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I mean. I was yeah. up ever since. I had that poster, Do You Believe in God? You know what I'm saying? Parents oh, thought I was fucking insane. <laughs> and it was right next to the poster, Kill the Fetus. <laughs> <laughs> <Sweet>. Right. <laughs> what kind of drugs <laughs> is he on? 
<laughs> but, but yeah, man, it, you know it's it's dope though that that you guys you know you embody not just you know what I'm saying horrorcore. Uh, you guys are much more than that. You got hip hop influences. Who are some of the uh, dope MCs? You know what I'm saying that you listen to over the years. You know, what I'm saying real lyrical catch. Uh, Scarface. Yeah, we got uh, like, definitely we... like you know Nottis, you know. Uh, Wu Tang, Tang Dipset, you know, Eastern Conference, Copyright, DJ Screw stuff, you know, yeah, definitely B-Row. the whole Rap a Lot crew, the whole Screwed Up Click, Switch House. I mean, we listen to everything. We're from the Midwest, so we listen to like everything. Like Read a Murder Dog, like, and that's like, pretty much yeah. what we listen to. Like everything in Murder <laughs> Dog. Well. That was our Bible. I mean, seriously, that was I our mean, Bible. Yeah, like Memphis shit, like real big. I was real big into Houston shit, the Bay shit, everything. <laughs> I mean, that, that I mean one you guys summed it up. It is a murder dog issue right there, man. It's, you know, and it's uh, um, being in the Midwest. You're right, man. We had we had everything. We had access to everything. You know what I'm saying? It was like, like a hey, funnel. I remember Chicago uh, rap lot was huge. It was so huge. It was rap lot's number one market that the Ghetto Boys had to come to Chicago to do a radio show on the, on a weekly basis. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They had Ghetto Boy Radio. You know, back back when the Resurrection came out. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah, your music had to pass through the Midwest in order to, and, and that's where I think most of the units were sold. You know, say, look how many mm-hmm. people reside. You know. I believe like it. Nip, like Nip said, it ain't about just cows and horses, motherfucker. Well, it ain't just about cornfields and, you know, <laughs> shit like that here, man. We got a lot of motherfuckers that live here. You know? Exactly. Um, what, describe, you know, Kokomo, though. What's it like? Is, is it, you know what I'm saying, more or less like a city environment, or is it, you know what I'm saying, smaller area? How would you describe yeah, it's it? it's a small factory town. It's, it's like 40,000 people. It's like a smaller version of Flint, Michigan, yeah, like ideally. Little Flint, <laughs> little Detroit, yeah. It's little, yeah. little factory town, you know. If the factory went, you know, the whole city go. Like nah, Elwood Haynes is the guy that created the car. He was from here, supposedly. He was like the guy. That's our claim to fame. Is where the car was created here, or his car was, back in the day. Wow. City wow. first. So it was, it's like automotive. Every you know, like Delco and Chrysler factories. And Delco doesn't here anymore, but it's mostly just like a factory town, like forty thousand people. Yeah, Indiana, Indiana is known for that. You know, Gary, the Steel City. You know, what I'm saying uh, the Midwest as a whole too. I mean, again. I come back to the Midwest. I'm not just saying because I'm from here, but I mean, a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, comes through here. You guys, you know what I'm saying, you guys being here in the center, you know what I'm saying, um, do you ever, like, uh, like go go different, like, shows yourself with other artists? Like, uh, you ever been to see, like, Project Born or Esham or any of those guys? Uh, I've never seen Project Born, but we just got back from Cincinnati. We saw Esham, Mastermind, Dice, Poe Hussein. The show was dope. Epic ass show. Oh, that's cool. That, that's cool, man. Dice, got to see Esham. Torture Live. That was insane. Yeah. Oh. We'll be in y'all town yeah, in March. Guess. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll see you guys soon. I can't wait for that tour. Collection of Killers coming soon. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Born. Project Born, Dead Street, you guys, shut, I want to shout that out real quick. Project Born, Born yeah. Dead, Part 3, coming out in March. Uh-huh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to pick that one up for sure. We most definitely got to bring you guys back on for that. Um, and then the tour, too, you know what I'm saying, that's huge. Uh, you guys going to get on any uh, legs of the tour with Project Born? Uh, we might do Indianapolis. We haven't talked to anybody yet, but we need to get cracking on that. But we might open up the Indianapolis show or whatever. Yeah, plus I heard uh, a couple other shows around Indianapolis might be happening, so you never know. Yeah, we got Chicago. Uh, uh, right after Indianapolis. Try to get some yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you, you guys are uh, over at UGSforLife.com, your artist of the month. Uh, I, I really appreciate you guys for supporting what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we, we can't thank you enough. Make sure to go check that out, UGSforLife.com. You know what I'm saying? And, and give everybody, you know, we're going to come back and chop it up with you. We're going to play another track or two. But uh, 
you know, real quick, give everybody your social media, you know, if they want to check out your music and whatnot, or if they want to book you for shows or features. Uh, yeah, we're on Facebook, Super Smash Bros. And then we're also on Twitter, Instagram. We're on SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. What's the email? Uh, Super Smash Bros at gmail.com. S U P A H Smash Bros at gmail.com. Set us up. We're going to play all this. Going down. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know, so uh, this is a Spotlight City, and it's coming out here in less than a month. Now it's going to be Stop digital. Uh, are you going to have physical copies too? Yeah, we're going to have. Everything for Stoplight City is going to get a digital in. We're trying to get physical copies. We're going to try to get as much stuff on it, put it on wherever we can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what's up, man. You guys, um, you guys going to uh, do any more, like, radio shows and things of that nature? Yeah, whatever. We're down to do whatever. We're trying to get our stuff popping as much as possible. Oh, yeah, you know, we got yeah. Pretty- Pretty good work ethic, so we just down to do whatever, find as much as we can. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, like shout out. Um, no, sorry. Go ahead, Brandon. No, I was just saying their work like, ethic, man. Like they, they they put out a lot of music, man, and they they stay working. It's, it's paying off for them, man, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, consistency that. is the key. I keep telling people, you know, you gotta. You got to be consistent with your stuff. You can't just drop a SoundCloud track every year and a half and, and expect it to do anything and share it twice. <laughs> you don't expect yeah. it to grow from that. It's a day. People don't understand. If you take this seriously, it's a daily fucking grind. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, respect to all you those who do that. And one person who takes it seriously and is always on a daily grind, the homie uh, D Payne. Um, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying, LDP, Living Dead Productions, UGS for Life. He, um, he he did some of your sounds, didn't he? Some of the uh, mixing and mastering and whatnot? Yeah, he's mixing and mastering the whole album. Mm. So, oh, the whole yeah, album. big shout out to him. I yeah, thank you everything except for maybe one song. The whole so, project. Yeah, it's definitely got his sound on it, and I appreciate him a lot. We're going to have Hell him yeah. chop and screw the album when it's done, too. Yeah, for uh, our screw heads. Hell yeah! If anybody wants um, his services, you need your vocals sounding like crap. You want them sounding real good and right? Go to ugsforlife.com right on the side of the page, mix and master, and click that. All the contact info. There's even a sample up there. You can hear his work. You know what I'm saying? Show and prove, and that's what the man does. He ain't about speaking about it. He's doing it. So shout out to the homie D Page, and also shout out to Scratch LDP if you need graphics. Same thing. There's a logo right there. Graphics, click on and get it. Scratch LVP covers, you know what I'm saying? 30 bucks a pop. How can you not afford that? And they're dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're dope as fuck. So mm-hmm. shout out to our uh, Living Dead Productions guys, man. Them guys are good dudes. Um, yeah, that's another example of you guys networking with people. You know what I'm saying? Not just features and stuff, but also, you know what I'm saying? Other avenues too, as well. You know, and that's important that we have people. You know what I'm saying? Willing to do work with others and, and, and stuff like that because when you, you keep everything in house, sometimes you don't get the sound that you're looking for. Did you ever find that out with you guys or, or, or you know, like in the early stages when you were making music or did you always go to other people? Like for uh, mixing and mastering, things of that nature. Uh, we're pretty much self contained. Mr. DKB pretty much handles all that stuff, but for the album, we wanted to have. Just a little better, crisper sound, you know, and so we hit up Jack Boy. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, the homie uh, D Payne wanted to uh, send a shout out to you guys, man. So uh, uh, that's what's up. Uh, <laughs> shout out. That's the homie. D Payne, man. Good Thanks dude. for tuning in, Payne. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else tuning in as well. Uh, we got the Super Smash Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Right here in the Midwest, Kokomo, Indiana. Working with legends like like uh, Project Born, Mastermind, you know what I'm saying, and uh, putting out music, you know, for the better part of the last 20 years. At the end of the day, you can't do nothing but say, you know what, I respect these guys. 
know what I'm saying? I respect your grind, and like Patrick said, and, and, and the work you do. Um, one more question I have before we go into this last track is, you know what I'm saying, what can we expect after Spotlight City? Like, we know this is going to be a big project, but do you have anything in the works after that? Uh, no, nah, it's all liquid right now, you know. I mean, just letting it flow. This album, and then after that, whatever. I mean, we got songs upon songs, you know, in the stash, but we're always working on new stuff. We it wanted stops every day. We wanted to take a page from K Reno's book, and we're going to release a few mixtapes the same day Stop White City drops, so we just wanted to shout out K Reno for that. For dropping seven CDs. That's a dope achievement. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. I I can't believe no one's covering that. And I hit him up the other day, and I was like, man, what what the hell can we do to get these guys to cover it? And you know what he said? The realest shit. He says, I don't want fuck them. All they care about is uh, all they care about is is the uh, the mainstream artists. And he's right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All right. These, these media outlets are sleeping out, but that's a major accomplishment. Did he inspire you guys to do that? Yeah, I mean, we kind of saw that, and just, we just wanted to do it anyways, but I thought it was a cool idea. We've always we put out three CD, three mixtapes at the same time a year or two ago, but we never put out like seven or nothing like that, which that's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. I see that's huge, man. So I imagine a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dedication. Um, but uh, we got one more song. You know what I'm saying? Tomatoes. Uh, is this off the uh, album, too? Yeah, it's a Comatose featuring Schizo, which is a dope track. He, if you haven't heard of Schizo, he does a stuff with Mastermind called The Orthus. So it's a dope group. He's a hardcore lyricist, dude. Good shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And one more time, uh, you know, we're going to have Kendrick and Dead Walkers coming out here just a minute right after this track. But uh, before you guys go, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I want to thank you once again for supporting UGSForLife.com and the Murder Master Music Show. Uh, and give everybody your social media. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, anywhere. Or Super Smash Bros at gmail.com if you want to email us. You can download free music at that piff or nerve nerve DJs mixtapes dot com. I got like twenty five free mixtapes on there if you can't afford none. There you go. Twenty five free mixtapes. See that's what I'm talking about. I mean there's gotta be something on there you like. I wanna give a shout out to DJ Skywalker too. He shouted us out on his show for you guys, so dope dude from DJ Houston. Skywalker. Yeah, what up, Skywalker? Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. Man, that was the Super Smash Brothers, you know what I'm saying, comatose. I think I was calling it Kamados or some shit, man. I fucking couldn't even pronounce it. But I want to thank them for uh, coming on the show, you know what I'm saying, supporting the platform. But now we're going into the second part of the show. Um, I'm going to bring back the homie Patrick, uh, my brother Mac J. I'm also going to bring out yeah, Logan, yeah. Uh, Horn, you know what I'm saying, because I know he done work with the homie Kendrick, let's say you know, the Dead Walkers. Let's bring him on right now. What's up, Kendrick? Yo, what's going on, man? man what's going on, man. Kendrick? What's the well, deal, bro? What up? Yo, bro. Oh, what up? Man, exactly. appreciate y'all bringing me down here. Yeah, yeah, man. We we definitely hey, uh, we appreciate you because you know what I'm saying. You you you're working. With legends, you're doing things with guys, you know what I'm saying, that we, we all grew up listening to, cats like Project Born, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. When did you get your start in the game, man, and, and where are you from? Man, I'm going to say, man, my first start in the game was <clears throat> in elementary school. The lunch lady, was she was young, and she uh, was a street team member of Epitaph Records. And she used to give me cassette tapes all the time. And give me, you know, she'd be like, okay, pass these out, get these sold. And so I started from there, man, just moved forward since. But as far as my own music, <laughs> it's been a crazy road, man. It's ups and downs and bones, man. But uh, it's been a couple of years now. Man. I think the first thing that I ever dropped was 2007. 
So it's been a minute. But yeah, I yeah, have a lot of coming up on a solid decade in the game. You know what I'm saying? Since 2007, mm-hmm. a lot of shit has changed. You know what I'm saying? What's your perception of hip hop nowadays versus 2007? Man, it's regression. Man, that's the only thing that comes to mind. Regression. I don't know, but at the same time, because the underground is definitely doing their thing, there is a lot of up and comers that <clears throat> that are killing it out there. But at the same time, nobody's giving them no chance, paying attention to them, and they they get overlooked and overshadowed by all you know everything that's going on now. As, as far as the masses, I'm gonna say regression. But as far as you know, what's going on beneath that? In the, in the background, under the you know, under the streets, I think that you know, definitely people are doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, the underground, I think, is what's keeping rap going. To be honest with you, because yeah, the mainstream is definitely right. uh, sleeping on talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who are some of the guys that you came up listening to? That I came up listening to. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna say my my first uh I think my, my first hip hop album man was probably uh gotta be Wu Tang man Thirty Six Chambers yeah and then uh, yeah you know I stick with with uh I'm blessed with, with, with what's on my album the features that I have on there are people that I grew up listening to and looking up you know looking up to. Project Born, Mastermind, She Raised Walls from out there in the Bronx. <laughs> so you definitely you definitely want to embody with what you know what I'm saying you grew up with, you know what I'm saying, which is dope. Uh let's go into the track, you know what I'm saying, off the uh the album. What's the name of the uh project that's available right now? The uh, Dead Walk is Life Before Death is the album name. And it's out. They can get it. Uh, you got you got physical copies as well as online. Yes, sir. You can get it on uh, the website is deadwalkers.bidcartel.com. I think you can find us just by searching on Bid Cartel. You can get the physical there, and then the digital you can get anywhere. Yeah, that's some laid back shit right there, man. That's some. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> dope stuff. That's now, that you're, ride. You're, you're, like, yeah. Just riding out with that shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You that's, my, smoke I call that, that's my lady killer song, man. That's, you know, I'm killing those ladies that drive them to suicide. They, they can't stand me so much. They got to they gotta take another way out. Yeah. Um, some, yeah. Some fucking rotten-ass females. What the fuck's wrong with these bitches? But uh, right, yeah, yeah, right. it's like some, that's like some Poison Clan, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they had uh, uh, in my nature, I hate hoes, the bitch that I hate. Sometimes you gotta vent a little bit, you know what I mean? You gotta, you, time, you gotta man. just vent on these. But um, you know what I'm saying? This is off the the, the project that's out right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, what about like videos? You guys gonna put out a video for it? Um. I want to do a, I want to do a couple of videos. I mean, those are in the work. Definitely something that has been thought of and talked about for a while now, but we just haven't gotten together and, and got those done yet. But hopefully, in the near future, definitely. I'm thinking. I know what uh, we got. C raised walls. He's 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 ready. He's ready to go for you know and do a video for this track that we do we did with him. And I'm ready to make that shit happen. Just gotta get everybody together and get that going. Yeah, the homie. Uh, I want to shout out the homie Lord Sinister over in France. Uh, he just uh, he's tuning into the show and he said, "Man, he loved that song right there." You know yeah, yeah, for so, uh, Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what it is, man. Definitely, definitely. And we got, we definitely got some more dope tracks we're gonna play with different vibes to them. That's just one side. That's what I like about the project from what I heard so far. The versatility, man. How important is that for you? 
as yes, an artist. I mean, versatility is huge. Um, <clears throat> see, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that music's got to have substance to it. And, they, you know, it's, it's the soundtrack of, you know, everybody's life is, is, you know, they make it their own. And so mine, I'm giving you, is basically I'm giving you my journal inside my head to some beats. Trying to keep yeah. it on one day. <laughs> one day, I, you know, I'm feeling the world is beautiful. You know, the next day, I'm on some fuck the world shit. So, it's good, you know, it's going to be versatile. Because, you know, me as an individual, I'm not, you know, monotonous and, and living every day the exact same. You know, everybody goes through the different emotions and feelings, so. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, definitely huge in my book, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Most definitely. You know, um, well, let's give them a taste of that versatility. Let's give them, okay, we, we just, you guys just heard, the, you know what I'm saying, a laid back song right there. Now let's go into Pray for My Enemies. And tell everybody about this one. That one, the last track was a. Uh... <laughs> And that track was produced by Dre Forty Ounce, and he's actually he's the one that did all the mastering, helped me down with the with the mixes, and uh, he also produced this one as well. So you can see the versatility in the production from him. But yeah, this one, this one is actually about uh, is about uh, being angry at some people, uh, somebody fucking with branches in my family tree. My, my my little cousin getting jumped by thirteen dudes and she a female and so man I just me and me and her brother went on. Wow I went on about that shit. So that's got a lot of substance to me as well. It means a lot too much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I I really like the fact that you you know, you embody your personal life into your music. I always thought that makes for the best music when an artist just just says it you give it to him how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking yeah, about. It'd be more real and shit. Be more real yeah. when motherfuckers come. They real shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, this is this is pretty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It's a perfect <laughs> example of what I was saying, Kendrick. How we went from one track to another, two totally different tracks. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to be able to do that. Not many artists can pull that off, man. So props to you for that. Yeah, Um sure. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah that was you know, from smooth, smooth and depressing to some rock and yeah, roll. I mean, knock that shit out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, how do you, how do you, you know what I'm saying? When you record your music, you sit down and write this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does it take to get you in the mood to write? Um. Man, besides uh, cold brews and a shot of vodka, <laughs> no, man. I mean, basically, just you know what I what I experienced. I can't remember who said that shit, man. I think I want to say that I read it. it might have been Murder Dog Magazine back in the day. I think I, I remember seeing Mastermind say that what he experienced one day and go on his record. He said it in the song, actually. He says in the record, you know, the next day. And so, man, I mean, he hit the nail on the head right there. And so, you know, like I was saying, shit, I'm I'm having a crazy fucked up day. I'm angry. Pull up a beat. I'm I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to just, just release. That's a way to vent, yeah. <laughs> Which I wouldn't know because I'm not I'm a non talent motherfucker that can't rap. So, <laughs> or write. So, uh. Yeah, but I feel you, man. That's you know what I'm saying. You gotta you definitely um, bring out that in your music, you know, and that, and that's yeah, what a real artist yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the you know what I'm saying? What's the rap scene like? And because I never really you know all my years of review, I mean I've reviewed CDs from fucking Hawaii, Alaska. I don't think I ever had the opportunity to review something out of Utah. Is there a big rap scene there? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. There's a, uh, yes, I mean, it's definitely a lot bigger than one would imagine coming from this state. I mean, if you don't know, never been to Utah, or never seen, you don't know too much about it, you'd definitely be shocked and, and definitely 
see something completely different than what you'd expect. Um, but there's, there's a couple of good people out here that I, I got their albums and I'm digging to them. <laughs> but, I mean, it's been changing, coming and going, man. Lots of people, I don't know what it is, man. They, they, they never make it to that album point. I mean, there's lots of people doing shows. You can find a hip hop show, you know, every every damn day almost out here. In multiple venues as well. Oh. oh yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's dope to be able to you know what I'm saying, be able to draw that in your music. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of artists, you know, they're too busy worrying about what the next guy's doing, trying to get, you know, influence yeah. from him when you know what I'm saying, they're that doesn't take any creativity. So to be able to do original music, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's dope right there. Um, let's give them another track, you know what I'm saying, the album. This one here is Across the Nation. Tell everybody what this one's about, Kendrick. That one's basically, you know, just trying to get yourself out there with doing this music thing. Got a mastermind on that one. I had to, you know, take that with your shit worldwide with it with him. But me, man, I'd just be happy getting across the nation. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, man. We're going to come right back. We're going to kick it with you a little bit. I want to find out, you know what I'm saying, what, what you got plans for in the future and everything. But uh, this is Across the Nation, Dead Walkers, Life Before Death, available right now. Make sure to get that. Give them the website one more time, Kendrick. Oh uh, yeah, pick it up. Uh, we got the Big Cartel store, Deadwalkers. Not Big Cartel. dot com. Pick it up digitally anywhere: Google Play, iTunes, Amazon, everywhere else. That's a high energy oh. song. You know, um, yeah. man, what's what's it like to you know? What I'm saying, uh, now Mars is, is he the Mars from the West Coast? Yeah, that was, that was the West Coast Mars. <laughs> What was it like to work with him and Mastermind on the same track? It was it was cool, man. It was cool. Um, man, I mean, especially as far as, you know, I grew up listening to Mastermind music for years and years. And so, I mean, that was, that was a blessing for him to be on the album. And then I, I, I was stuck on the chorus. And I hit him back up a little while later, and I was like, man, we, I got an idea. Let's run it like this. And, you know, he was he was all about it. He was with it. And he got that knock, knocked out. And, uh, yeah, man, everything just was so smooth. Ran smooth with that. And uh, the beat was produced by uh, the homie Detour. He was down in New Mexico with the with the Jokers, my homeboy out there. <laughs> but, yeah, I like that. I like that beat, man. I, I like it. I had a lot of fun rocking to that one. Got a lot of fun, yeah. a lot of fun performing that as well. That and pray for my enemies, man. It's, it was those high energy, screaming rock and roll up in your face, man. I I get a little too too crazy, a little too hyped on those ones, man. But they're fun to do. Yeah, uh, that's a, definitely definitely, man. Uh, one time I would have loved to uh, review the uh, Murder Dog back in the day for sure. You know, say we'll uh, we'll definitely review it over at UGS for Life dot com. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it, man, it's a, it's a dope project. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a lot of dope artists with you. The last track we're gonna play here in a couple minutes is uh, you know what I'm saying? This uh, Polk is on the line right now, Project Born, and uh, nothing nice. Um, you know what I'm saying? What's what's after this though? You know what I'm saying? This is I know you, you you've been working on this for a while. You know, and and, and you got together. It's a phenomenal project. But but what's next for the Dead Walkers? You gonna do any solo stuff? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I I keep uh keep starting a solo project and it's getting taken away from it, but I think I'm gonna definitely pursue that. And then uh, Dead Walkers, you know, we got the homeboy Dre Forty Ounce who did the lion share, the production, and did the mastering. Yeah, mixed it down with me. Um. Yeah, I definitely want to get him back in the next album after this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean we're we're sticking around, man. You know we're not going nowhere. 
You'll definitely, definitely see more of us here in the future. Definitely push this album and hopefully get some shows going. Mm-hmm. Get it across the nation. But, uh, yeah, man. I mean, we're, we're definitely, definitely going to drop something else. No okay, name project yet. One, no, that, that, that tour with the Dagan family and Mastermind, and, you know, say, huge. Are, are, are you guys going to uh, do a show on that, maybe? Shit, I mean, you know, that Project Born, that's family right there, man. That's, that's Brother Pope right there, man. Whatever he, he tells me to do, man, he, he tells me to jump out of, you know, how high is shit. You want me to rock 38 shows, I'll do it. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully we do, you know. Hopefully we get things going. Yeah, we're going to try to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Yeah, Polk, Polk, are you going to be headed out, you know what I'm saying, west? Are you going to go to a place like Utah and stuff like that? Where are you concentrating, you know what I'm saying, the uh, majority of this uh, uh, this uh, tour you got? Uh, we're going to start it well, in, in the Midwest, and then we're going to shoot out west, swing around, man. We, I don't know, man. I, I, they're doing the booking, so I'm just, you know, once everything is set, I'm. But we for sure got to go out west, though. We got to you know, get a lot of love out there, and we got a lot of love for west. So, for sure, Utah, too. So, you know, the homies yeah, out there, yeah. they've been out there, they've been out there in a minute. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's going to be interesting. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that's, you know, me and Mac Jay, we've always sat down on the show, man. It would be dope if, if people put together tours and different things of that nature because really that's where, you know what I'm saying, you're going to find your most money, you know, nowadays. Right. You know I mean, it's out there on on the road and just hitting up different spots, you know, and, and uh, you know, if other artists can do it, you guys can do it too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So hats off you guys, man. Um. I got both of you on the line right now. This is the end, man. Tell us about this one, Kendrick. That one was uh, <clears throat> what I what I envisioned with that one was uh, basically you know the album's entitled "Life Before Death." This one is is when you <clears throat> wake up in that point where the whole world is gone, every, everybody's dead. I actually got the idea, man. I was walking down the streets downtown one day and. I just see these, these crackheads, man. They look like they're dead. Not they were the only ones on the road with me. I looked around. I was like, "Damn, man, there's some zombies over there." Shit, the end right here. Yeah, the, yeah. the end of days, man. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, that's like Mac J. That sounds like Lower Wagon Drive in Chicago. <laughs> look under that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. um, hey, yeah. here it is, man. Yeah, it's the end. Cigarettes. Like, dead walkers. <laughs> featuring uh, Bulk, Project Born, and uh, Nothing Nice. Who's Nothing Nice before we get off of this track? That's a homeboy from, uh, yeah, St. Louis? No. Yeah. Is he St. Louis? Yeah. St. Louis, right? Yeah, yeah St. Louis, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I was fortunate enough to be on his album, so, man, and then dude, man, dude's nice on the mic, man, so I had to bring him back on mine. Uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, this is the end right here. You know what I'm saying? Right hell now. Yeah. Right now. You know what I'm saying? You can get that. You know what I'm saying? Online. We're going to uh, we're gonna bring on Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up for just a little bit. And uh, he can tell you exactly where you can get it. Uh, man, it's another one. That's just four tracks, too. So, you know, you got uh, a lot more on this album. You know what I'm saying? People need to check it out. Um, you know say Again, tell them where they can get it, Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, pick that up at uh, deadwalkers.bigcartel.com or get it. That's for the physical copy or get a digital anywhere, Google Play, Amazon, iTunes, uh, shit, anywhere digital music is sold pretty much. Yeah, I'm at the website right now, deadwalkers.bigcartel.com. Seven ninety nine people. You know, for those of you that, that collect physical CDs, which I, I'm one, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Seven ninety nine. Pick that up today. You know what I'm saying? If you want some dope music, you know. Um, thanks again for coming on the show. I appreciate you. Um, I'll wish thank you much you, man. success. Twenty seventeen. I hope it's good to you and yours. Yeah, um, yeah. For you. Same to you, Polk. Uh, appreciate you coming on the show, Peace. man. Um, we appreciate look forward it, man. to that Peace. project one, born dead part three. 
You know what I'm saying? We'd love to have you, uh, you guys come back on and debut a couple tracks off that, maybe. You know, get the sure. get the people ready. Sure. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Other than that, uh, I want to send a shout out to the Super Smash Bros. You know what I'm saying? Kokomo, Indiana. I mean, we were we were from Indiana, Utah, in a matter of seconds, people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Omi Kendrick. Appreciate you, bro. Um, and before we get out of here, is there anything you want to say? Yo, I, I just want to say, man, I appreciate for, you know you guys having me. Man, no and Fred, no Matt J, Brian Patrick, man. Shout out to my brother Pope, man, right there. Yeah, yeah right. Baby, the album, man. And uh, shout out to the Super Smash Brothers, too, man. They rocked that shit, too, early. I heard that. Yeah, man. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, man. Well, we definitely, we definitely appreciate you guys, man. Thanks again for coming on the show. And we're going to stay in touch. You know what I'm saying? We are definitely that platform for underground music. If you want to um, get your music to uh, us, make sure to uh, email us, you know what I'm saying, prez at ugsforlife.com or macj at ugsforlife.com. Let's check out your music, you know what I'm saying. Make sure to check us out every Saturday, you know what I'm saying, Mac J and Velvet Rose on the ground Saturday night. Well, you guys got episode 32 uh, popping off this uh, Saturday, man? Yes, sir. Ring in the new year. 32 popping off this Saturday. I'm saying shout out to lovely Zelda Rose. You know what I'm saying? You and her uh, got great chemistry on that show. For those of you who haven't tuned into it, man, I'm just going to say this from a listener standpoint. Um, it's like a, a variety comedy show mixed with music, mixed with sports. It embodies more than just one thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a dope show, and people need to check it out. So if you haven't checked it out, Check it out. And Velvet, she does great news stories, too, man. She's going to give you some highs and lows. She's going to make you laugh, and then she's going to talk about the most horrific yep. crimes yep. committed. She you know, get, her news is like an emotional shit. roller coaster, ain't it? Yeah. Just like a, you never know what's, going, what's in the news. There's all kinds of shit to pick from, too, but she always picked the ones that shed light on the real shit and get our minds thinking on other shit sometimes, too. Then she gets you laughing, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gets you laughing. So check out that show. Also coming back January 8th, the Church of Reality. We're uh, going to be kicking that off again. Skinny Man on the Rant, that's a new show. It's a podcast, you know what I'm saying, by uh, Skinny Man, who's, a, who's also a dope producer. If you want to check out his music, go to UGSforlife.com. Uh, he's going to be having a show where he just rants about different topics. And he plays music. You'll be able to get music to him, too. You know what I'm saying? So uh, check him out. Also, make sure to check out Scratches. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Slaughter Hour. He's going to be dropping another episode of that pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, mixing and mastering or graphics. Man, you get get a Scratch LDP for the graphics. You want mixing and mastering done, you get that to Homie D Payne. And they're both uh, right there at UGSforlife.com. Those are our brothers. You know what I'm saying? We support them and they definitely support us. Uh, shout out to the Homie Brandon. Shout out to Sin. Uh, shout out to everybody that keeps fucking with us. And for uh, our enemies, man, uh, Kendrick said pray for him. So he, he's much kinder, man. I can't pray for my enemies because uh, I uh, I want to see bad things happen to him. You know, you usually pray for your enemies when you want to see good things happen to him. But no, that's a dope track.